Welcome to RCR Wireless News. I'm Martha DeGrasse, and I'm here with Scott Torrey. He is Director of Product Line Management for Corning's Wireless Division. Scott, thank you very much for joining us. Okay, thank you, Martha. I'd like to start off by hearing about some of the trends that you're seeing now in the indoor DAS market. Okay. Well, we're continuing, continuing to see the um, uh, DAS market to grow. Um, you know, it's primarily in uh, North America, which is, uh, by market estimates, about 65% of the global market. Um, it continues to grow at double-digit growth um, each year, and it's projected to do so for the foreseeable future. And the drivers are clear. I mean, people want um, cellular coverage, uh, particularly as um, advanced services like LTE are rolled out and have difficulties penetrating uh, buildings um, at some of the higher frequencies. Um, also in there is that um, people see the need for um, cost savings through uh, converging their infrastructure onto one uh, platform. And we're able to do that with a uh, fiber-based infrastructure, uh, which is what Corning's heritage is based off of, um, having invented low-loss optical fiber back in 1970. And our vision is to provide um, fiber to every edge of the network, wherever it's needed. And we see that um, in the wireless space, that's to the antenna, and that's what we bring with our distributed antenna systems. Okay, great. So I know that you've been involved in a lot of the major venues around the country, but now I think a lot of the second tier venues are coming along, and I'd like to hear your perspective on that, and do you think that we'll continue to see strong demand? You mentioned double-digit growth rates continuing, so is that where a lot of the growth is coming from? Yes, I mean, it's, um, Yes, many venues have been uh, covered, particularly larger ones, but I think that there's still uh, plenty of opportunity out there. Um, you know, one factoid uh, from our, our CEO used earlier this year is that you know, if you look at all of the building space, um, particularly in the United States, um, the commercial space, that only about 10 to 15 percent of it has adequate um, you know, cellular coverage, and that. Um, you know, to fix that, there's a variety of um, tools in the toolbox to do that, but distributed antenna systems um, do have a share of that um, solutions. Right, and, and from, the, from the end user's perspective, a lot of times they're just thinking coverage, be it cellular, be it Wi-Fi, and you mentioned Converge systems earlier. Can you talk about Corning's role in offering Converge solutions to some of these buildings and, and venues? Yeah, absolutely. So again, um, you know, Corning's history is one that um, is coming from, you know, uh, optical and what uh, fiber optic uh, uh, infrastructure can do. Um, optical fiber, one of the advantages is it has um, the ability to carry nearly unlimited bandwidth um, through um, the infrastructure. And when you look at it, people start to ask, okay, well, with that, um, why do I need to have uh, different networks um, that I have to manage separately as opposed to one that can carry all of my traffic and be future ready uh, for new services in the future, whether it's um, 5G or advanced Wi-Fi coming down the road. Um, so the uh, converged solution is one where uh, you know, cellular, Wi-Fi, Ethernet can all be done over the same infrastructure. And there's definitely um, advantages to that, avoiding uh, rip and replace cycles uh, down the road uh, once folks realize that um, they're, they're constrained um, in their network. Um, and also it can be done at um, essentially the same cost today with benefits for um, upgrades in the future. So those are some of the drivers behind it. And do you see um, a lot of building owners and, and enterprises proactively asking service providers about distributed antenna systems? Uh, I think there's a variety of, uh, of uh, business models and depends. I mean, obviously, uh, many of the venues are carrier-led. Um, then you have the, um, the, uh, the tower companies with the, the neutral host model. Um, but that being said, yes, there are places where um, enterprises are uh, proactively asking about it. Perhaps it's when they're uh, for new builds or, or greenfield applications. Or perhaps it's when um, there's a major renovation planned and um, when pulling in integrators, you know, questions are being asked on, well, if you're you know, in these solutions, you know, could we do it with one system as opposed to how it's been traditionally done up to this point? Scott Torrey, Director of Product Line Management at Corning's Wireless Division. Thank you very much. Thanks, Martha.